All right, now I'm currently on the property where I stayed for several weeks and I bought my own HughesNet dish and I just took it down. This is the pole that remains. This is a really good location to come and visit. This land is privately owned and this is a lot that I've been considering purchasing. And so uh, the owner of this particular lot lives out of state. He's 77 years old and he and his wife uh, want to hurry up and sell all the lots they have. They're not really interested in holding on to their land. And so uh, I came here and I visited for a period of time and uh, just brought my friend's truck to come get my stuff. My RV is parked back uh, where I'm staying at the moment. And the reason I'm coming to get my dish and what remaining stuff I had is because I don't want it stolen. I haven't been here for a week. I came back, I packed up all my stuff. Nothing's been stolen. So this is a really peaceful place to visit. My friend Ryan, when I told him I was staying out here, he's like, oh, you're, you're staying up at that haunted Indian place. <laughs> and you know what? This is an interesting place. Be it haunted or mystical or otherwise, I like it, but I don't like it full time. I like to come here. I like to visit this land, this particular location. And then I like to go and visit other places in the San Luis Valley or the Rio Grande Ranchos. But this is a very special place. So if anybody wants to buy this lot for five acres, it's next to the river, thousand dollars down to get you started. Then you can pay 50 or hundred a month uh, to this guy in California. There are a few other lots. This is the type of deal I would hook up a close friend with. You know, I don't know if I'm just gonna share this deal with just anyone that asked me. Uh, but this lot used to be 6,900. This lot is now $2,400, $2,400. So it's here, 24, 24, 24, 25, 25, 25. No, seriously, people used to pay a lot more for this land. And I'll tell you what, this land is worth owning even if Costilla County is doing what it's doing. Land rights are land rights. And there's ways you can defend yourself against this criminal county. And I suggest people try to do that. I suggest a lot more people get active in what's happening in Costilla County. But I, again, I recommend people get land. I recommend people think about strategic relocation. I recommend people think outside the box of whether or not you have running water. You gotta understand and think with me for a minute. Just, just entertain me. If you had running up water, and you had hundreds of people living here in apartment complexes, would this be a strategic relocation with cops going up and down, giving people tickets? It's all about water. You don't wanna be necessarily where there's plenty of water and, and lots of people. You want just enough water to survive or you wanna be able to go out and get your water, as most people do here of the go to the guy with the well who they pay for $20 a month. That's cheaper than what you pay your local utilities, okay? And there's ways eventually, if you have the technology, then you can get around the car itself and use other forms of transportation. Okay, if someone had a horse out here, they can literally pull some sort of a wagon with their horse to the neighbor's house. He's actually a few miles that way. He's the guy with the well. In case you didn't know, the San Luis Valley sits on top of the second largest aquifer in the world. So even if the water is not above, it's below. The question is, is it because of those resources and other resources that uh, oil companies, fracking companies, uh, water companies are being drawn more and more to Colorado to get what they can? And is that playing any role in Costilla County's decision to, uh, or attempt to quietly update the land use code to where RVs and trailers aren't allowed. In other words, the poor aren't allowed. Hopefully we stop them in their tracks for now. We can't put it past them to try to pull something later this winter, but they're not gonna be voting RVs and trailers out of Costilla County after the last meeting. So at the very least it's been postponed. So that's a little bit of good news, but we're not out of the woods yet. But that aside, in closing, where else can you get five acres for $2,400? When I first started talking to this guy, he wanted $6,900. He just, you know, got back to me literally in a matter of days saying he and his wife decided to drop the prices on their land. This guy does not have a website, but I am in touch with him, but I don't want to waste his time. So for serious inquiries only, this land is sitting right here waiting to be picked up for $2,400. There's also other plots of land elsewhere in the valley. I wanna thank everybody that has offered 
uh, their land to me for me to stay on. Right now, I'm going over to Blanca. I'm going over to the San Luis Valley Ranchos. And I'm going to stand with the community as the community is standing with us. As we went out to warn the community about Costilla County's uh, proposed land use changes. And now we're coming together. Uh, you're going to hear more about what we're doing at this uh, group campsite. Not too far from the Tim Leggett household. It's going to be one hell of a, of a next few weeks. And I'm going to be there documenting it. I'm Alex Ansari signing off from the south end of the Rio Grande Ranchos near Ute Mountain. All land that I stayed on for a couple of weeks. One of the peaceful places on earth that I've ever visited. I'll be back with more.